The ESP32 is a really powerful microcontroller and I've always wanted a breakout board with screw terminals so I could use it in home automation. A fellow maker on Facebook actually asked me if I'd make this when he saw my screw terminal breakout for the Wemos D1 and well, I had to accept. Today we'll make a screw terminal breakout board for the ESP32 in KeyCAD from start to finish. We'll have PCBWay.com manufacture the PCBs, assemble it, and give it a look. KeyCAD is an open source program that you can download for free and use to create your circuit boards and electronics projects. It's really, really simple. All we do is to import the ESP32 itself and we're going to set up some screw terminals. And then we just set up global labels on each one of them so we don't have to have a rat's nest of wires all over the place. Uh, really easy then. Then when we go to make the PCB, everything will root really nice and simple. Once we're into the schematic view, it's super simple. Just lay everything out and set an outside diameter for our edge cut. That's the outside circumference of our board. We'll lay out some mounting holes so we can mount this in like a home automation style project or, or anywhere you want to mount it to something solid inside of a cabinet or whatever. It's, it's good to have mounting holes, but there's nothing to it. All where we need to root our copper is laid out for us with the white lines. So we just go ahead and take a look in our 3D view and make sure that the board looks like what it should look like and everything is where we want it to be before we root the board. In this case, I went ahead and added labels to the bottom side of the board to the bottom silk screen so I could identify all the screw terminals super easily. There's not a lot of space on the front of the board and it's kind of nice to have the labels in multiple places so we can see where they're at and what they are. We do have an extra a spare on each side in this case on this board, so it's really important to have them labeled. Somehow I managed to lose my routing video. So basically, once you have all the labels in place where all these white lines are, just select the appropriate size of copper trace you want. These are pretty small signal wires mostly. And then just click from end to end and route them. On a breakout board like this, there's not much to it. I want this board to have maximum use cases, so we'll add a prototyping area as I always do to the end of the board beyond the ESP32. That way we can mount whatever components we like right to the board itself. Super simple, you just make an array and slide everything over and position it as you want. We're not connecting it to anything and every pad is not connected to each other unless we want to bridge it with a jumper wire or a bit of solder. So super, super simple and easy way to add a prototyping area to any PCB. Now it's starting to look like something. In the 3D view, this board's starting to look exactly what we want, except for we've got the silk screen showing for our proto area, so we have to go ahead and hide all those. I also had a keep out area underneath the ESP32. This is to allow for the antenna on the ESP32 to work as well as it can so it's not being shielded by the ground pour that we're about to add. Once we're happy with everything, we're gonna add a ground pour. This is connected to ground and this is, a, we select the entire area of the board and fill all areas with copper. This makes it actually easier for PCB Wave to fab. It's much less material to remove, but also allows us an entire ground plane on the board, which is just good design. So why not? We'll do this on both sides, on both layers and connect both to ground and that's all there is to it. 
Most valuable tip I can offer in this video is print out your PCB on paper. Uh, I have failed to do this in the past and ended up with a bad batch of PCBs. Print them out on paper and then check your components to make sure they actually fit. If you get the wrong footprint for the component, they won't fit. And this is the time that you can pick that up super easy. Just punch them right through and you can even breadboard it on the spot. Easy. Over to PCBWay.com, I upload the Gerber files as a zip file here, just drag and drop on the screen and boom, we can get a preview of our Gerbers on their website and see that everything is going to be the way we want it to be. We already have a pretty good idea of what's up and down because we printed this out, but we want to make sure that their system sees it the way we see it. And it sure does. On PCBWay.com, you're going to select whatever order style you'd like. Usually there's a $5 deal, but however you wish, upload your Gerber files, go ahead and select all the options. Basically all the defaults are fine for most of the small boards I make. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the uh, masking and we'll go with black on these. I think, I think that'll be really cool. And that's about it. Go ahead and check out. And fresh from PCB way, right from Shenzhen, we have our boards. Check this out. PCB way 2021 7th anniversary stickers. It's pretty cool. They have an awesome contest going on right now too on their website. Um, should still be going on at the time that this airs. Uh, but if not, uh, check them out again. They'll have, uh, they'll have more contests. They have a lot of them where you can submit your uh, your designs um, for like kind of a jury of our peers maker judges and then um, prizes are crazy like thousand dollars pretty cool stuff how did they oh yes yes i gotta move the camera yes wow so this is my very first ones with the matte black finish is that ever cool? That is just neat. So here's all our labeling we did. The hassle finish looks just awesome. Uh, our breakout area turned out awesome. Room for the ESP32 and a spare set of headers. Uh, or we just use those to jumper uh, over to the proto area is the intent. And then uh, our mounting holes mount this down that is super cool it's it's an interesting feel it feels uh not unlike a chalkboard that is just super super cool oh it's like christmas every time i get a pcb order these are they're just a breakout board but to me they're special they're designed by me for me for my use and hopefully they can help someone out there for you as well but uh Let's put some together. Assembly of these boards is super simple. Just some headers. Uh, you don't even have to use the headers, but I don't like soldering my ESP32s to the boards. That way I can easily reuse them as many times as I want. Go ahead and get our screw terminals together. They just snap together end to end and solder them all in. super happy how these boards came out. They're exactly what I needed. They'll do the job for a lot of different projects for me and I hope they'll help you too. The files are all linked on GitHub down below and I've gone ahead and started to assemble some kits here. I have put them up on my store with all the other kits that I've shown in videos. You can order a kit from me if you want. You don't have to. You can have these fabricated yourself but uh, if you buy a kit from my store it helps support videos like these and keeps the projects coming. Totally up to you. The Gerbers are there. I just ask that you don't go ahead and resell them. That's the only license restriction and I hope you enjoy. These things are a lot of fun. Uh, it was a fun little project. I love the ESP32 board. I think it's really useful for a lot of people and a lot of projects and hope this helps you.